I arrived in India uh, almost exactly 10 years ago. I was invited uh, for a conference in Delhi and since this was my first time in India, I thought, you know, I better fly out of Mumbai and see something of the country. So once the uh, conference was over, uh, I start looking at the map and I saw oh, Accra is kind of close. So I, I went to see the Taj Mahal and then uh, I again looked on the map and I saw these uh, world famous temples in Kachuwao and I thought, wow, this is the place where I should go. So I took a train, I, I rented a car to reach and this was actually the area where I got really, really stuck. I love the landscape, I love the people. There is some kind of roughness, wilderness in this part of India, which I, I really felt in love with. So uh, most of my remaining two weeks I spent in this area. And since then I simply kept coming back. I was really attracted to the landscape there, to the river, to the mountains, to the forest, to the tigers, of course. Uh, so I just kept coming back. Uh, and one day uh, at the place where I was staying, the, the owner of this wildlife resort, he asked me if I didn't want to work in this area. So I was thinking, you know, what to do. And I came up with the idea of building a skate park in, in one of these places. So I was asking him, we do need land to build a skate park. Uh, he loved the idea very much and he brought in another guy from, uh, from uh, a town close by where he offered us land and one piece of the property was, was in Chanba, in the village where I am today. So uh, I basically, I cannot say that I found the village. It's rather the other way around that the village found me. So, and since 2014, I've been in this village and I'm still working there with the kids and the community.